Those numbers are not unexpected, given the fact that we've relaxed in Ontario many of the restrictions that would allow, uh, the, the, the reduction of those restrictions would of course allow the transmission of this virus, even in a heavily vaccinated population, because we need to bear in mind that vaccination is not intended to reduce infection rate, it's intended to reduce serious disease, meaning hospitalization and death, which it continues to do effectively. And that's where there is, has been an uncoupling of those case numbers versus hospital admissions and ICU admissions and deaths. Nonetheless, as we see these raw numbers rise, even a small proportion of cases becoming sick will mean a large number of cases in hospitals and our health services system again uh, at threat. The increased transmissibility of, um, of Omicron, which is evidenced so far, but the evidence isn't entirely in, but it's becoming quite clear in the aggregate, we're going to see a much more rapid rise in cases. And that's why we're, we're going from three weeks ago when this was really news out of almost nowhere, although not unexpected, to now where Omicron is dominating the news, dominating our, our lives and causing us to pause any uh, reduction in restrictions that we've enjoyed over the past weeks to months. So things are looking rough well, and it means that our economies and our societies and our health services systems are once again at some measure of risk. Too much focus in my view has been placed on merely vaccination for good reason, but, but in isolation. And vaccination, although it's our best defense, it isn't and it can't be uh, our only defense. It's not, we're not going to be successful if we rely merely on vaccination. However tired we are of these things, these are the things that will keep us safe in addition to vaccination. So masking, avoiding uh, high capacity gatherings or even high risk, low capacity gatherings. We, we need to be rigorous for ourselves, not just uh, adhering to public health measures, I think, but also just judging for ourselves what risks we're, we're willing to take on. Where we are now is really, has been predictable all along. This was going to happen. Um, so if it takes this to wake us up, then fine, let it be so. But we do need to uh, make rapid testing available as widely as possible, both for symptomatic individuals and for asymptomatic individuals, uh, so that we know who is carrying this virus, who is at risk of transmitting this virus, and for those people who are not, they can rest easier. 